Hey guys, Storybox here, having an amazing day of jump rope at the beautiful Mount Rainier in Washington State. There's not a lot of videos out there really describing some of the most difficult moves that are being done with the rope. So today I wanted to bring you behind the scenes of some of my favorite crazy advanced level jump rope skills. Do not try these at home. You'll find that the TJ is one of the most famous jump rope skills in the sport. Athletes take the structure of a TJ or leg over cross, AKA the toad, and can really apply it to so many combinations and sequences. It can really add a level up to many skills and create an extra challenge. It's not just adding a cross, but also bringing in the component of training a right and a left side, forwards and backwards in a skill as well. This TJ position is vital to many of my favorite crazy level jump rope skills, that I do every day. And this skill is actually named after the two jumpers who invented it, Tom and Johnny, initials TJ. The TJ split is a combination of a multiple under, which is the TJ, and a power skill, which is a split. The idea is to finish the TJ to enter directly into the split and then jump up out of it. Of course, the tricky part is controlling the split landing as well as being flexible, but also strong. To me, it feels like the perfect combination of both the strength and the beauty that our sport has to offer. The Torminator is a back extension roll into a high frog, but you place the handle behind your knee, holding it there throughout the skill and grabbing it before pulling through into the frog. It's a skill that I created and have always had back extension rolls in my competitive freestyle routines, really since I first started jumping. The tricky part is slowing down and balancing in the frog from a quick roll and of course it's helpful to use long handles on this one to solidly grab the handle from behind your knee. The AS frog combines a crossing skill, which is the AS, which is a foundational jump rope skill originally created by and named after a jumper called Amber Sharp, and a power skill known as the frog or high frog, sometimes also called a donkey kick. You're starting in a highly restricted position, both arms are behind your legs, and you're needing to not only jump out of it, but invert during that same jump and catch yourself with your arms. This skill is a pretty good way to knock out some teeth if the timing is just a little off. And if your rope catches your feet, it's super important that you quickly let go of your handles so your hands can catch you before face planting. I really love high frog skills and the power that's required to do all of their variations that high frogs can bring from going onto or coming off of your hands. For the TJAS, we're bringing back that TJ here as well as the AS, but this time we're fully finishing the combination of skills in one giant jump. So it's a side swing, a toad, open AS in one takeoff. Because I'm moving from the toad to the AS so quickly, it can also be kind of a face to knee situation. So it definitely takes a lot of practice to get this skill and not just get it, but also make it look really smooth and clean. The dark side is one of my favorite skills because of the strength required. The shoulder pushing and backwards movement here is also a bit less common than a lot of jump rope skills, so power moves like this can be trickier and more challenging to achieve. On this skill, we can take what is known as a push-up, or rather a jump rope push-up, and a kamikaze, which is a common power jump rope skill. And instead of rotating the rope in the forward direction, you rotate it backwards around your body once. It requires a lot of work with timing and it was a skill that I face planted so many times on because my rope would catch my feet just before landing and my hands would get stuck if I didn't drop the handles quickly enough. A few broken teeth later though and I think it was worth it. A round off backflip TJ is a back tuck with the jump rope which already is a significant power and tumbling skill but you're jumping in the TJ position while upside down, mid flip, and coming out of the crossing skill before landing. Basically, you're doing the TJ backwards in the air of the flip. There are so many more incredible jump rope moves of crazy difficulty, so I hope you enjoyed a few of my favorites that really took me many years to master. Fail 
sales or not, I've definitely had loads of fun along the way in trading for these. So I hope you find your own success through your journey and whatever challenges you may be facing, jump rope or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment on your favorite move you've seen today or any questions you may have. And until next time, happy jumping. Presented by Brooks Running.